Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm filming my long-awaited November favorites today, and I just have some basic stuff to cover. I have makeup, skincare, nails, and hair care to cover, um, and I'll just hop right in. The first item I want to talk about is NYX's Creamy Concealer in a Jar. Now, NYX recently rebranded this, so I'm not sure what the current name of this product is, but basically it's their creamy concealer that comes in a little jar format like this. The shade I have is 04 Beige, and what I really like about this is that it's a creamy concealer that you can blend over your face. It's really friendly on your under eye areas, as well as like raised pimples or blemishes you might have on your face, but I really like this because it has a tinge of yellow to it, so it really works to counteract the red undertones I have in my face. I have a serious problem with redness. I'm pretty fair skin, but I always look flush in the face, so... This is slightly yellow, it leans yellow even though it is beige, so it works really well in covering my redness, neutralizing it, so that I don't look so red all the time. <laughs> um, this is very creamy, easy to blend, and it's also very affordable. The next product I want to talk about is MAC's Rubiness Paint Pot. This is a creamy eyeshadow base by MAC. I really love this shade because it's a warm kind of amber hue and it has lots of sparkle and shimmer to it. So I reach for this pretty much every day and I layer all different kinds of eyeshadow shades on top of it. Um, you know, medium pinks, shimmery pinks, shimmery golds, all kinds of stuff. This works with a lot of different colors even though it is kind of like a, a ambery copper kind of color. But I love this and yeah, it's a staple every day. I wear this pretty much every single weekday. And like I just said, I wear that Ruminous Paint Pot every weekday. On the weekends, I like to reach for my Maybelline 24 Hour Color Tattoo. The shade is called Bad to the Bronze, and it's a beautiful medium brown with a ton of sparkle and shimmer to it. So the reason I wear this on the weekend is because it's a little bit darker and a little bit more um, out of my comfort zone. I feel like it's a little bit too much for me just for my day-to-day -day preference, but on the weekend, this is great. I love layering it with medium smoky browns, plums, th those kind of colors, um, especially MAC Satin Taupe. And I recently did a video featuring how I paired this with that and did like a brown smoky eye look. Um, this is just a fabulous product. It's cheap, it's easy to blend, and it helps your eyeshadow stay all day. So I definitely recommend these color tattoos by Maybelline. Another drugstore favorite that's kind of dirty, so forgive me on this one, is the e.l.f. Flat Top Powder Brush. You can find this in the e.l.f. section at Target for three bucks. And it's uh, pretty dense for a really cheap brush, and it works well with powder products. So powder foundation, setting powders, the like, uh, and you just swirl it in and just you can pat it on your face, you can swirl it. Um, I know a lot of people use this for cream products too and liquid foundations and those kind of things. Um, so yeah, I have two or three of these on hand so I have a clean one at all times. This one I just use. Um, but yeah, they're so cheap that you can buy a handful and just have a clean brush at all times and have one for your makeup bag, one for your bathroom, one for your vanity, whatever you like. I really recommend this brush, it's great. Another brush I've been loving recently, and I might get the number wrong on this because it's rubbed off, is this MAC brush, and this is the 252, I believe, but I could be wrong. I'll look it up and put it in the description box below. But this is basically a huge paddle brush, um, just so you can see it to scale next to my face and my eye. Uh, it's a big powder brush, and I think you can use this for a lot of things. I think it can go well with concealing and, um, like, especially under eye, and then just, like, using it for, you know, your brow highlight just getting that big area up there. But I really love this for days when I'm in a rush and I'm doing just a simple eyeshadow look. So literally just take this, stick it in the product, tap it off, and then just stamp it across my eyelids. And literally, that's it, I'm out the door. So this is a great makeup brush if you're in a rush and it has a lot of surface area to it. So yeah, MAC 252 brush. I've really been loving this recently. Next, we're going to move on to skincare, and a skincare product I've really been loving is Juice Beauty's Green Apple Peel with uh, Full Strength. Now, this is a skincare product. It's lightweight um, acid peel that you can do at home. What you do is you wash your face at night and then put this on, like slather a generous amount on your skin and leave it there for about 10 minutes. Um, it's going to burn right away, so let me just warn you on that. Um, this contains lots of fruit extracts and, and natural ingredients. I believe it's 99% uh, natural and it's also certified organic. So it really uses like, you know, the natural uh, ingredients in plants to help kind of resurface the skin. So basically once that 10 minute period is up, you wash it off and pat dry your face and then you can move on to your nighttime moisturizer. Um, I would recommend just using the nicest, cleanest, alcohol-free nighttime moisturizer because it can kind of really 
compete with the effectiveness of this and you really don't want to over irritate your skin another thing i would recommend with this is do do not use this if you have any open acne going on in your face because it will hurt so bad so just do it on a day where you don't have any like exposed flaring open acne sores and uh, you'll really see some instant results in the refinishing the smoothness and the evenness of your complexion with this so i use this maybe about once a week uh, but i'll alternate so i'll do like a deep mask one night and then i'll do this uh, another night or wait a week and then i'll do my alpha beta peel by dr dennis gross yeah, and then I'll maybe the next week do this. So I try not to overdo it with this, but I think some people it's, it's gentle enough that you could use it once every three nights, once every two nights. Uh, but yeah, I'm using this about once a week or two or three times a month, so love this. The next kind of skincare product I love is this Vaseline Lip Therapy. What do they call this? Yeah, I love this Vaseline Lip Therapy in Cocoa Butter. This is just the heavy lip balm I keep on my bedside table. And just look at this little container, it's so cute. Uh, you can find this at Target in the skincare, like lotion aisle, you will not find this where the lip balms are, I don't think. So keep your eyes peeled for this. There's original Vaseline formula and then there's cocoa butter one. I really like the smell of cocoa butter, so it's so yummy. Um, it's very moisturizing. I pretty much would only recommend it for nighttime use or if you're like at an office and you're sitting at your computer all day just having this handy. Um, it's not really practical for like everyday usage because when you do put it on your lips, it's very thick and very heavy and you won't be able to apply lipstick or lip gloss on top of it. It will just be too thick and goopy, but definitely for nighttime use, just putting it on before you go to bed, highly recommend this and it's super affordable. It's actually what I have on my lips right now. So yep, that's by Vaseline. <laughs> Next up, I want to talk about some Essie shades. I have been recently loving Tomboy No More, and of course I show you these nail polish colors when I don't have anything currently in my fingernails, uh, but that's on my to-do list this weekend. Um, Tomboy o No More is really, really great. It is a thin but opaque true burgundy, and it looks a little dark in the bottle. It's actually a little bit lighter when it comes out on your nails, and what I like to do is do two thin coats of this, and you'll really get a nice opaque color. I really like this because it is thin and you do two thin coats and literally it will not chip on you. I had this on for about five days before no chip and I was using just a so-so whatever top coat. So I really do recommend this shade and it's pretty much my go-to through um, fall and winter. So that's Tomboy No More. I'm not sure if this is limited edition, but hey, look, it almost matches my shirt. Um, yeah, you know, maybe look on Amazon or eBay or something, but this is a great shade. Speaking of my go-to kind of burgundy deep red, I have my other red I like to go to, and this is Red Nouveau, also by Essie. I got this on super sale at Ulta. I think I also did with Tomboy No More, like $2.50. But this is kind of like an orange toned red, uh, and it's just beautiful. It's that red that really does complement my skin tone, I feel. Um, it's my go-to red, and it just makes my hands look really clean and feminine, and I just really love this red shade. I don't, I don't know how, how else to describe it. I'd say it's medium thickness. It's not as thin as Tomboy No More, and it's not as thick as the next nail polish I'm about to talk about. This is just a great everyday red shade by Essie. And the third nail polish from Essie I want to talk about is Recessionista. Now, I got this for free in a clout perk. They sent this to me for free to try. Um, and the shade is Recessionista, like I said. So this is a purpley burgundy brown. That's how I would describe it. Because in the bottle, it looks very burgundy purple. But on your nails, it's kind of the color of, it's going to sound silly, but like barbecue sauce. It's like a deep purpley brown. My only one gripe about this product is that while the shade is beautiful, the formula of the nail polish is actually pretty thick. So when you put it on, it's kind of hard to get the right amount on the brush. Also, it's a new bottle of nail polish, so there's a lot in there. Uh, but when you do put on your nails, it can apply kind of thick, and thicker nail polish leads to uh, more rapid chipping. So this didn't last as long as, say, my other two shades that I talked about earlier, but the, the shade is fabulous, and it's just beautiful for fall and winter. It's just that perfect kind of purpley brownie burgundy shade. Lastly, I want to talk about a hair product and it is my beloved It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Treatment. I don't think I've ever talked about this product on this channel, um, though I could be wrong, but basically this is a product that does 10 things. You can spray it on your damp hair once you get out of the shower and it does a variety of things. I, I won't go into detail, but basically 
the main kind of uses pr for this product are to detangle, basically control frizz, and um, be a flat iron slash thermal protectant for your hair. So this is great to use, and I have extremely, extremely fine hair, and it's very damaged. So it's been colored, it's been bleached, it goes through um, you know blow drying every other day, the occasional curling, the occasional flat ironing. So I just want to be as gentle as I can to my hair when I get out of the shower, and you know, I absolutely always need a detangler to um, brush out my hair once I get out of the shower. There is no way my hair gets brushed without a detangler, just point blank. So this is my favorite one to use. Um, it just really helps the comb glide through my hair. I don't feel like I'm ripping out hair or breaking hair. This stuff is amazing. This size bottle is $36 at Ulta, but Oh, it's great. You just need like six or so sprays on your hair. Um, you could even probably dilute this with water and still work like a dream. But I love this. My hairstylist recommends it. Um, it really is just the bomb. You can find it at your local salons or at an Ulta store. And I just love it so much. So that's about it, guys. I want to thank you for tuning in for my favorites. And sorry again, it was so severely behind. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have a few other videos up this week. So I hope you're having a great week, day, night, whatever, wherever you are, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!